Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pauly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be examining a fragrance from the house of Guy La Roche. This fragrance is known as Dracar Essence. This is an EDT Eau de Toilette concentration, which came out in 2014. So there's now five fragrances in the Dracar line. The original Dracar, 1972, which is virtually impossible to find. The famous Dracar Noir, which was 1982. Dracar Dynamique, which was 1999. This fragrance, Dracar Essence, 2014. And the most recent release, Dracar Intense, 2022. So this fragrance does not really smell like Dracar Noir or Dracar Intense or Dracar Dynamique. I have not tried the original Dracar from 1972. This fragrance is a little bit like Guy La Roche's Horizon. Similar type of vibe, but not exactly. So this is a out-of-the-shower, cool, minty, fresh fragrance. Very pleasing. It's a blue type of freshness, not a green uh, type of freshness. It's a feel-good a uh, morning fragrance that kind of vivifies a warm sunny day ahead. This is also an example of when people review it, they review it off the initial spray, which in the dry down is actually very, very good. So they say, well, it smells like shower gel, what have you, but the actual dry down is completely different. So that's why you always got to be very careful not to judge a fragrance on the initial spray. You have to let it dry down and see how it develops over the next several hours, how it reacts with your body, how it reacts with your skin. That's very, very important. So I'm going to take this out of the box and give it a spray. So it has the same bottle design as the other Dracar fragrances. It's got a super sprayer, just a big blast. So initially you get this very nice, cool, minty, freshness which is very stimulating for the mind and body as it stri- tries starts to dry down it develops into a woody minty kind of lavender scent later on i find it becomes a little more aquatic musky but there's definitely more woodiness this is not an overly complex fa- fragrance it is fairly straightforward there aren't many notes so the top notes are mint and grapefruit the mid notes are lavender sage and various woody notes the base notes are musk and tonka bean so this is a very nice and pleasant scent that is inexpensive in the united states you can get this for ten dollars a bottle and this can definitely fit nicely and have a purpose in your collection the longevity for this fragrance i got about four to five hours average long uh, longevity average performance okay scent waff and um, scent bubble nothing spectacular but again it's only ten dollars this is something you can reapply several times throughout the day but i do see it more as to use out of the shower after a workout in the morning that sort of thing this is a very wearable fragrance almost any age even some gentlemen that are 15 16 in high school can wear it all the way up into their into their 80s but again you always want to try before you buy because if you want something sweeter a little bit different this is this is more of an aquatic type of scent the other uh, only other thing is if you're just starting out in fragrances and you're a beginner this may be a very good starting point because you're not spending a lot of money and it's is a good introductory as you climb the the rungs of complexity on the fragrance ladder as you get into more and more complex and sophisticated scents so this is a i think a very good starting point you can't go wrong for the price And if you're a person that is on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this may be a very, very good starting point. So if you like this video, if you have any comments or questions or any experiences with it, leave it down below. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.